Conan is a spectacular 78 feet trimaran that has been operated by its sole owners since its inception. This blue water sailing yacht was designed by the famous French Michel Joubert, renowned for his cruising and racing multi-hulls. Conan was built in France in 1988. Conan was designed to be maneuvered and managed by a couple for a circumnavigation and for tropical waters. This yacht is ideal for a live aboard couple and for charter. The boat possesses a dedicated maneuver cockpit where all sheets and winches are grouped together. The concept of trimaran was chosen to give a very sea kindly motion as it eliminates or attenuates the impacts of choppy seas or large waves under the bridge deck. It allows a much smoother passage against a heavy sea state. An extremely rare concept, this imposing multi hull is built in full beam. This design provides many advantages as larger interior volume, floors above the waterline and almost at the same level. Clear deck plan for running lines, reduced windage and above all unsinkable. The owners have sailed it on adventures to remote, lo remote location in the Red Sea and Indian Ocean. More recently, they have operated the yacht very successfully in the Mediterranean. The yacht is uniquely laid out to carry up to 12 guests in six double cabins with bathroom in suite and two cabins with one bathroom in suite dedicated to the crew. Conan is equipped with robust and redundant systems for cruising to very remote location in total autonomy. Mast, sails and gears are customized and oversized. She is powered by three diesel engines, all direct drives. The yacht carries 5,000 liters of fuel in three tanks, giving a range of 4,000 nautical miles. Two generators keep all the onboard system running. The yacht is owned by a Greek corporation that flies the Greek flag. It is VAT paid and its corporate status gives it numerous advantages to operate in Greece and in the European community. Please see the specification for more details on its corporate status and charter opportunities. As you will see on the pictures, the numerous hatches allows maximum inner space due to the full beam configuration of this project. It allows as well maximum ventilation, especially suitable for tropical areas. Conan is staying mainly at anchor. Paul the owner has always paid a peculiar attention to the easiness of access to the chain in any eventual condition. The depth of the locker allows to accumulate the whole length of the chain without having to do any peculiar action. It is obviously very interesting that he proposed as well a rope gypsy on the top of the windlass, which allows operation of hoisting the mainsail or eventually sending a crew in the mast. 
on the front deck this is the access for the crew cabin then we have two very nice and convenient lockers for equipment that need accessibility from the deck and another big hatch on the front on starboard sail locker let's go now down to the forward central cabin This cabin presents a very comfortable double bed with an excellent ventilation due to the presence of two hatches plus another one in the corridor leading to the bathroom. Air condition is present with its dedicated outlet. We are now in the bathroom of the front central cabin, which is our suite. This is a peculiar uh, toilet system that the owner has uh, chosen. This is home type, which allows you to have much more security toilet being above the level of water, of sea water. And it allows you at the same time thanking to the connection of all the toilet system of all the cabins of this boat to reach either the holding tank, either direct discharge to the sea, depending on the condition. Conan is uh, presenting uh, three front sails Jenaker, Genoa, and Solent. As well, a spinnaker is available with the actual halyard locked on the front port bow. The masts, the central rigging, blocks, all gears are oversized since this project has been planned originally for an around-the-world trip. General commands, halyard, sheets, sent to the central cockpit allowing single-handle navigation. A huge opening central hatch with an angle above 100 degree is providing an exceptional ventilation to the inner saloon. It has as well the function of allowing an easy extraction of the main central engine. Efficient side hatches, hatches providing port and starboard for all the caviar. The top roof of the deck saloon is offering an actually an excellent relaxing area away from any maneuver that provides you as well location for equipment such as the gangway, the canoes, the dinky toys and all sorts of equipment. It can be thought in the future eventually to have a solar panel area which will allow a very important production. Deck Saloon on the front part is presenting many very very practical lockers for water, toys, diving equipment and an very nice huge table for, with accommodation for more than 12 guests comfortably installed. At the same time, sun awnings all over the surrounding of the top roof 
gives you an excellent sun protection. This is the basing letter view from Stern. We are now reaching to a complementary relaxing area which offers two mattress as well you will notice the electrically powered uh, David which is a, a lot of very easy maneuvering of the dinghy up and down a huge locker next to the relaxing back area will contain a complete uh, diving compressor and equipment in between the two relaxing beds is the entrance of the stern cabin as all the cabins on board this uh, cabin is equipped of an air condition outlet it is uh, very nicely ventilated with its own two hatches port and starboard okay we are now looking stern we can see the entrance of uh, this cabin which has as you can see the bathroom ensuite and the corridor offers an excellent ventilation sinking to a hatch in, for its own together with road robe and many drawers together with a very uh, convenient uh, seating area. So we are now in uh, the stone cabin ensuite uh, bathroom. As you will notice, these home type toilets are allowing the use of uh, paper to be thrown in the bowl. And this is a peculiar advantage uh, compared to many other systems. The home type allows without any problem this uh, function. This hatch is providing an excellent fresh air in uh, the bathroom and uh, you will appreciate the position of this uh, shower which allows a very comfortable and easy taking showers with a lot of space. Ensuite is appearing now the corridor leading to the double bedroom together with many many possibility with drawers, sitting area, wardrobe, at your We are now showing you the maneuvering cockpit which allows to a couple to be perfectly able to control completely the sailing on board the Conan. Ten winches are present nearby in order to generate a complete sailing comfort with everything at disposition next by. This is a detail of the sitting area of the skipper. He has all the basic instruments, electronics for the general control of the situation as well as the three engine controls for the propulsion you will notice that the automatic pilot is at your left hand immediately possible to correct the road from the sitting position as well as a permanent information about depth thanking to a forward reading depth sounder and the radar we are now entering into the inner saloon, which, thanking to this peculiar solution of the full beam projection, is giving an exceptional spacious area, everything being 
le- at the same level, allowing allowing you to take advantage of the whole available space for the total width of the boat. The full beam solution really allows an incredible uh, gestion of the space. The kitchen is just attenant to the saloon. Then we have the technical area with all the electrical management of the boat and the chart table. This chart table has been mainly emptied of uh, its original equipment that is still functioning and on board, but to leave the future owner the possibility to choose and equip it with whatever preference he would have. We are now presenting you the general electric panel control, start and control of both gensets, as well as information about uh, the refrigeration and deep freeze unit. We have one unit positive cold at about 350 liter and another one for minus cold at uh, about 400 uh, liter. It is a netetic plate system with accumulation authorizing you to have to operate only the gensets for 45 minutes in order to keep as far as, for example, what we have at the moment, minus 20 on the deep freeze. And this for 24 hours. The kitchen is just attenant to the saloon and is really very peculiar as far as the quality of the equipment to effect really a professional cooking. You have incredible number of baskets in order to keep fruit and vegetables next to the numerous hatches giving an extraordinary ventilation. The same, it offers you very good working area for the cook. You have a professional cooking uh, device with a, an extraordinary oven, an American sink with water providing from a column, and we end with the attenant fridge. We are now in the formal starboard cabin. which present as all of them the bathroom en suite. We are now looking at the starboard aft cabin. You can see three hatches providing a huge ventilation, an aircon outlet, a wardrobe and many drawers. The bathroom Ensuite has two hatches, the home toilet type, as usual, above the waterline, can upset the toilet paper going to the holding tank. The beds of the two heft cabin has the particularity that a part can be set on the bench, though providing 
an optional additional bed. We are entering now to the port aft cabin which is exactly the same as the precedent starboard aft cabin. We are now heading for the master cabin on port, which present always the same peculiar characteristic with extraordinary air ventilation, beautiful light, with a possibility of very numerous drawers, a small city sitting area, wardrobe, and the classic ensuite bathroom. Now this is the dream of every boat owners, the opportunity to have, thanking to the multi-health solution, a real workshop. It is a bit messy at the moment, but it allows you to have a total freedom and self-service intervention in any kind of works, maintenance, on giving you a full autonomy. All sorts of tools, all sorts of primer, paints, spare parts, everything available at hand. We are now in the central hull, equipped with the main engine, 305 horsepower from the Volvo Penta. One of the characteristics is a very beautiful accessibility all around the engine in order to be always able to provide any intervention. You will notice the cut in the sail to allow the extraction eventual when necessary for special maintenance of the main engine. It is pre-cut and ready to be opened in order from the saloon table to extract the engine uptake with a crane. Here is a sprinkler. This is an automatic fire extinguishing system which is requested by the commercial rooms under which the boat is registered. Now you see the membrane from the powerful water maker producing 360 liter per hour thanking to two membranes the 
this is a peculiar equipment uh, regarding the discharge of uh, unfortunate lightning eventual uh, through the mast or allowing a direct discharge to the sea, which is a very uh, peculiar equipment. Here is a CMAR water maker control, which allows you to check the production and uh, all the relative uh, pumps from the boat and especially the white big pump is a high pressure pump from the seawater uh, converter to freshwater unit. We are now looking at the starboard hull under the floor of the kitchen and it is immediately obvious that we have an impressive area, lots of room due to the full beam solution, giving a lot of ease, a lot of accessibility to the different engine. In the middle you have the propulsion engine and front and back two generators. This ACE allows an incredible capacity stern and aft for 5,000 liter of water and above all 5,000 liter of fuel giving a total autonomy of about 4,000 nautical mile to the boat. We are now heading for the crew quarters which start first with an Austrian bathroom with all the facilities, accommodation, a mirror, lavabo, toilet, always with the same principle, and its own basin shower. It is very well ventilated with a hatch as well. Then we enter into the sleeping area, the cabin itself, with an incredible capacity of drawers on both sides. Peculiarity is uh, the double mattress, which uh, thanking to an extension system that you can slide out, meeting the other side, gives you the possibility to use a huge double bed. Ventilation again is assured by two complementary hatches and as well air condition is available in the cabin with many upper lockers as well. We are now in the port hull which has a, a Perkins uh, motor for propulsion. As well, you can see a boiler. This boiler is uh, double activated, either by the heat of the engine or by its own electric resistance. We can do and consider the same for the air condition, which is a twin unit, meaning that it has two compressors in order to offer a proper redundancy in case of the failure of one of the compressors. By experience, after sailing in uh, peculiar areas such as Red Sea, Indian Ocean, it is clear that this boat has always been uh, considering the necessity of double system in order to be ready and not to be stopped in operation due to a partial failure. Now we will take a look at the hulls below the waterline. The width of multi-hulls often presents problems when howling. The structures of catamarans are subjected to enormous loads with travel lifts. No problem with Conan because the howling of this trimaran is done like a monohull. Its long central keel is designed to absorb all the weight of the boat and ensures longitudinal stability. Thus, 
Conan can be put ashore by travel lift, floating dock and especially by sliding or rolling sleds that can be found all over the world. As you can see, the high-tech G-prop propeller can be feathered and the pitch can be adjusted underwater. All propellers have silicone anti-fouling. Paul plans or advises to use anti-fouling silicone, effective for 5 to 8 years. The three rudders and the two Perkins propeller shaft can be easily removed and put back underwater. As a conclusion, this large multi-hull is perfect for a couple or a family who wants to live permanently on board in the Mediterranean or around the world in tropical areas. Designed for intensive use, this custom ocean-going trimaran has demonstrated its reliability, robustness and the perfect control of a couple for such a large boat. The advantages resulting from the full beam concept make this multi-hull a unique boat and a peculiar opportunity in the pre-owned market.